This video is going to show you how to use multiplying a fraction times a whole number to understand parts of an hour or fractions of an hour. So let's read this scenario. It says Kyle studies for his science test for one-fourth of an hour on Sunday. How many minutes did he study? So to think about breaking up an hour into fractions, a fourth of an hour, a half of an hour, a tenth of an hour, I first need to think about changing my one hour to be in minutes. So uh, something that I should already know is that one hour is the same as 60 minutes. So that's what I'm going to use today to help me um, multiply a fraction times a whole number. So I have to find out, for this scenario, a fourth of 60 minutes. And I'm actually going to draw a circle to help me do this to represent a clock or a part out of 60. You can think of it either way. So the first thing that would be easiest for me to think about in terms of breaking up an hour or 60 minutes into parts is thinking of half an hour. So if I break my, um, my whole into two halves, I can think of it as 60 split in half, or another way to say it would have been 60 times a half, which I know as a fact to be 30 which means a half of an hour is the same as 30 minutes. And I can show that on my picture by showing that each of these parts would be 30 minutes. Okay, I can break that down even further and think about a half of a half or a fourth. So I'm imagining splitting my 60 into four equal parts, or you can think of it as splitting the 30 from earlier into two parts. So if I had had 30 from earlier and I wanted to split it into two parts, each of those two parts would be 15. So 15 equal groups of 4 would get me to 60, and I can think of that as 60 split into 4 groups. This is also something you know because if you think about a clock, Think about the minutes it takes from when it gets to the 1 to the 3 hand. In the minutes hand, that would be about, that would be exactly 15 minutes. So that's another way you can think of it. So over here, keeping track of my fractions of an hour, a fourth of an hour would be 15 minutes. Okay, let's try a different one with, that's split up into different pieces. I'm going to use my circle again. This time, let's split our hour into six parts. So the easiest way to do that is to draw a half, split each of those into three parts. Oh, hold on, let me try that again. So split each of those into three parts, and split each of the other side into three parts. So I should have six equal parts. So, I'm thinking about splitting 60 into 6 equal parts, which would be 10 minutes. So 10, 10, each of them would be 10. And thinking about fractions, I can think of that as 1 sixth of an hour is 10 minutes. So if you use this strategy, you could pretty much figure out any part of an hour. You don't even have to draw the picture. You can just think of it as splitting 60 into however many parts I need to split it in. So to answer the original question, if he studies for a fourth of an hour, a fourth of an hour is the same as 15 minutes. 